بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is section 1.4 Exponential Functions uh, The function f of x equals 2 to the power x is called an exponential function because the variable x is in the exponent okay is the exponent uh, notice that x square is a power function and the variable is the base not the exponent in general an exponential function is defined by f of x equals b to the power x so f of x equals 2 to the power x is an example where b is a positive constant okay so it's a positive number uh, the graph of the exponential function is uh, like this this is the graph of 10 to the power x 4 to the power x 2 to the power x okay 1.5 to the power x and so on and when the base is less than 1 1 over 4 to the power x 1 over 1 over 2 to the power x and if b is 1 then it is just a horizontal line 1 equals to x notice that all of them pass by the point 0 1 because b to the power 0 is 1 so if you replace x by 0 b immediately would be 1 so if b is greater than 1 this is the graph of the exponential function increasing if b is less than 1 and greater than 0 it's decreasing if b is 1 then it's a horizontal line notice that 1 over b x to the power x is equal to 1 over b to the power x is equal to b to the power to the power negative x okay so for example this would be the graph of half to the power x or 2 to the power negative x the domain is the set of all real numbers and the range so the domain is r and the range of the exponential functions is from 0 to infinity. These are, are some uh, laws of exponents. We know them before, but just to remind you, uh, when you multiply, multiply b to the power x times p, b to the power y, you add the powers. When you subtract, you find, when you divide, you subtract the powers when you have b to the power x all to the power y you multiply the powers and you can distribute the powers when there is a product also when there is a division this is an example sketch the graph of this function and determine its domain and range uh, let us start by the standard function which is 2 to the power x 2 is greater than 1 so the graph is like this notice that this line is a horizontal asymptote of the exponential function now this minus means there is a reflection about x-axis and this three, three units up, vertical shifting. If you remember, we said the order of transformations, we start by horizontal shifting, then stretching, shrinking, then reflection, then vertical shifting. So we start by reflection because there is no horizontal or stretching. We start by reflection and we sketch the graph of negative two to the power x. This means that we need to reflect this graph about the x-axis. 
So this point zero one would be here, and the graph would be like this. Okay. This would be the graph of y equals negative two to the power x. Same graph, but reflected about the x-axis. Notice that uh, the horizontal asymptotes will not change. It's the line y equals zero, the horizontal line, the x-axis. Finally, I take the graph, this graph, three units up. When I take the graph three units up, this line y equals to zero would be the line y equals to three. So y equals to three would be the horizontal asymptotes. And this point, which is zero and negative one, when you move negative one up three units, it would reach two. Okay. So this would be the graph of this function. Now, the domain is all set of all real numbers. This is the domain of this function, the last one. And the range is from negative infinity to three open, from negative infinity to three. Because the y, these are the y values from negative infinity to three. So this, this, this is the domain and this is the range of this function, the last one. Now, if the base is E, then uh, we call this function the natural exponential function. It is the only exponential function with slope of tangent line equals to one. E is a number greater than one. It's approximately 2.7, and that's why the graph is increasing. The graph of y equals e to the power x lies between the graph of y equals 2 to the power x and y equals 3 to the power x, and it's closer to 3 to the power x because e is approximately 2.7. Graph this function and state the domain and range. I start as usual by the standard function, which is e to the power x. The graph of e to the power x, as we have seen, uh, is the graph of the exponential function when the base is greater than 1. Now, I have here, this half is vertical stretching. This minus is a reflection, and this one is a vertical shifting, one unit down. So I start by S, which is stretching, and I graph half e to the power x. This is, in fact, shrinking, not stretching, because we are multiplying by half. So this is a vertical shrinking. So what would happen, and instead of passing by 0, 1, the graph will pass by 0, half. So this would be the graph of this function. Now, after stretching, after shrinking, stretching and shrinking, we uh, graph reflection. So let us sketch the graph of half e to the power negative x. Well, now x is multiplied by a negative sign, so there will be a reflection about the y-axis. So this is one, this is the half, and instead of being like this, the graph would be like this. So this is the reflection about the y-axis. If you reflect about the y-axis, this part will come here, and this part will come here. Notice that always the horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero. It didn't change up to now. But when we take the graph one unit down, when we sketch the graph of half 
e to the power minus x minus 1 finally it is the same graph like this but we take the graph one unit down so now the asymptote would be the line y equals negative 1 not y equals 0 and this half when you take it one unit down it would be here at negative half so the graph would be like this so this is the graph of this function now the domain as usual from negative infinity to infinity but the range starts from negative one and goes to infinity this is the end of this section uh, i hope you enjoyed the lesson